Hello everybody. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the Tekka software. This is the Tekka Heat Loss, Heat Gain software. It's HLHG. So when you first buy the software, it's going to look something like this. This is the welcome page and the software has not yet been activated. We give you instructions on how to activate it. And once you click activate down here, the software looks something like this. So here we are. This is the activated software. There's an updates page. If you have been using the software for a while and you receive an update, it's important to read uh, what the new update has so that you're aware of the changes that have been made since the previous version. The disclaimer page, uh, it's very important that anybody who's using the software reads through this disclaimer page. The user manual, this is a searchable document. It's a very, very long document and it's searchable. So um, if you're, you know, for example, you're wondering how to specify uh, walkout basement and you're not sure how to do that. You can press control F, type the word walkout like I've got in here and it'll search for the word walkout. So see it found walkout there when we're talking about the above grade height of highest ceiling. If I click next again, it jumps me to the next one, which is over here. This is how to specify walkout foundations. So it's a, it's a large searchable document for you um, to get help with some, to get help with your inputs. The colored worksheets down here are where you're going to be doing all your inputs. So to put it very briefly here, the input construction page is where you define the building construction type and the mechanical system information. Uh, it, it also includes the weather information. So environmental conditions, right? You've got your indoor temperatures, your outdoor temperatures. You can talk about the infiltration and mechanical systems. Uh, you, divine, you define your above grade elements here, so you tell it how the walls are built and what the thermal resistance value of the walls are. So these ones are R19, right? Ceilings and floors, windows, skylights, shadings, and doors. This is how you define the construction of all these different things. Last up is the foundation. You tell the software where your insulation is and how much it is, and choose a foundation configuration and then you start specifying the foundation dimensions. The floor plan is where we actually tell the software what the room by room dimensions are like. So you, this is where you input the area of the room, the length and area of all the exposed walls, the exposed ceilings, the foundation information, everything like that goes in here on the floor plan page. The results page is a breakdown. So this is the heat loss page right here. Um, it's not a completed project, so. We're not seeing values right now, but on a completed project, these would be values in BTUs broken down into every different component of the building and then further broken down by each room in the building and by each component in that room for heat loss and for heat gain on page four. The calculations that we're doing here are based on the CSA F28012 calculation methods. That is required by the BC Building Code. It's important that if you're doing any Heating equipment sizing, you're doing it based on the CSA F2812 heat loss and heat gain calculations. Lastly, we have a charts page. This is a visual breakdown of the heat loss and the heat gain of the building. The measurements page is a, it's a bunch of tools that we've put together to help you out. For example, a floor area and volume calculator. Area of radius windows, right? Calculating the volume under cathedral ceilings. We keep going down to the bottom. Custom calculator for above grade assemblies. So I, I can I can build a above grade wall, for example, or ceiling, component by component, and calculate the heat or the thermal resistance value of that component. Lastly, we have the airflow requirements page. This is a supplement to the duct sizing practices that you now use, and this basically just helps you find the minimum airflow that must go to each room based on the heating and the cooling demands. Very important these days that we consider both when we're sizing ductwork. So this is what the software looks like. If you're having trouble with the software, you can do a few things. First thing you can do is read the red writing. I have red writing all over the software, and this is just little tips I've given to you to help you out with these inputs. Next up, again, is the user manual. It's a searchable user manual here, and you can find what you're looking for, find what you're having trouble with. Lastly is the instructional videos. So this is on the Tekka website, products, software, instructional videos. And these are 20, you know, 15, 20, 30 minute videos that 
help you understand each type of input. So general understanding, software overview, input construction and above grade elements, and so on. Lastly, but certainly not least, we recommend that everyone who is doing lots of these heat loss projects come take the course with us at Tekka. It's a 10 hour course and we do lots of example problems together so that you get very familiar with how to use the software. Thanks for watching everybody.